I never thought I'd have to make this public service announcement, but to all support players out there, please stop banning Maokai. It's not even about wanting to gain free LP, I just want to play my beloved tree support again. Seeing him banned in 80% of my lobbies has definitely been a new experience for me. I don't think there has been a support champion with this high of a ban rate since ever. The closest champion I can remember having even remotely a similar ban rate was Blitzcrank. To all my Blitzcrank mains out there, I understand your pain now. Anyways, I honestly rather have more people learn how to counter Maokai support instead of just perma banning him. As support mains, can we all agree to save our bans for the actual OP role in this game, jungle? Therefore, in this video, I'm going to be revealing some of Maokai's biggest weaknesses as well as three playstyles that can heavily counter Maokai support. Despite all my content praising our holy tree and everything he can do to help you gain LP, there are definitely reasons why you shouldn't play Maokai support. In general, he's not the best laner due to his short range on his twisted advance. Unlike most other tank supports, his engage range is very limited, meaning you often need to expend flash to find a suitable target. Without flash, your area of influence is significantly smaller, meaning it is more difficult for your ADC to both farm minions and output damage. Maokai is also less tanky than most other tank supports, so it can be difficult for you to be the primary tank in team fights before stacking health through item purchases. Champions like Nautilus or Leona have abilities that provide them with free resistances or shields, meaning they can influence early game team fights a lot more easily than Maokai. In general, Maokai is a lot more dependent on sustaining through team fights using his passive to make sure his health doesn't drop significantly. Lastly, Maokai's ultimate, despite having a long range and wide area of influence, is not a form of hard CC like a stun or a knockup. This means enemy carries can still technically deal damage since only their movement ability is deterred. It's also not too difficult for the enemy to simply line up behind each other to block the rooted spell. Overall, you can think of Maokai as a support who is strong in the current meta simply because he is decent at everything. He has okay engage, he has okay tankiness, and he has okay sustain. Unlike most other supports who have a clear dominating strength, Maokai is a more of a jack of all trades type of support. If you want to be able to counter him, all you really need to do is pick one of the following three playstyles to counter his mediocrity as a champion. Disengage, out tank, and perfect poke. I often describe Maokai support as a weak laner, but we still have to classify him as your typical engage support, and the best way to counter engage is with disengage. In general, engaged champions such as Leona, Nautilus, and Maokai work best when they can all in a key target as quickly as possible since they have very few tools to escape the teamfight. Once these champions commit, there really is only two options, kill or be killed. More often than not, as long as the tank support has enough of an initial health pool to dive a champion, they will win a fight, unless the opponent has superior disengage. Champions like Renata Glask and Braum are extremely difficult for Maokai to start and engage because they interrupt your all-in through crowd control. Instead of aggressively attacking the enemy bot, Maokai ends up as a sitting duck in the middle of a teamfight after being unable to properly engage. Renata can use Handshake to create enough distance between Maokai and her ADC. She can also throw her ultimate as a response tool anytime you decide to engage with Maokai's ultimate. Braum can simply put up his shield to block Maokai's ultimate, creating enough space for his teammates to hide behind. He also slows and stuns any incoming melee champions with his Winter Bite Q and his Concussive Blows passive. Similarly, you can use a champion like Morgana, your more traditional anti-engage champion, to simply black shield the engaged upon target, rendering Maokai absolutely useless. Maokai's champion model will still travel to the black shielded ADC, but the target itself will be CC immune, meaning the ADC cannot be rooted or knocked up by Maokai support. Since no CC will be applied when Maokai engages, his aftershock will also not proc, meaning Maokai loses a lot of intended tank stats. You and your ADC can simply laugh in his face and chop him down in record speed. Overall, if Maokai is unable to create an advantage after committing with his WQ engage combo, it's extremely easy to burst him down as he won't have enough tankiness to survive the counterattack. The next playstyle you can use to counter Maokai is to simply be more tanky than him. Maokai can usually do okay against most tank engage supports, but there are two in particular that can easily outtank him. 
The first tank support I have the most trouble against is Alstar. This is because he can easily absorb brutes and he actually doesn't mind being engaged on. If you mistakenly decide to WQ onto an Alistar, he will simply pulverize you and then headbutt you away from your ADC, oftentimes into their own turret. Alistar and his ADC will now be very easily able to damage you much faster compared to the output damage that your ADC can return onto Alistar. Even if you do somehow engage on the enemy ADC, the same concept applies where he can easily knock you further away from your bot lane partner, rendering you both in a very poor position. As Maokai support, you simply aren't as tanky as Alistar and he can easily out tank you in any teamfight. Additionally, Alistar also has much better roam potential with better gank setup since he has more forms of CC that can be applied over a longer duration. His build path also includes mobility boots which means he can easily out roam you and set up ganks much faster. In big 5v5 teamfights, as Maokai, you generally want to be able to quickly focus down a champion while trying to out sustain the teamfight. Against Alistar, he also wants to do the same thing, but he can survive an unreasonably long time in teamfights especially when he casts his Unbreakable Will ultimate, removing any CC and giving him an insane amount of tank stats. Overall, a good Alistar is one of the trickiest supports that Maokai has to face. The other tank support I would recommend to counter Maokai support is Tarek. Although he is rarely played, Tarek can be devastating to play against in teamfights since he is one of the few supports that can actually outsustain Maokai support given you are both in melee range. He essentially has unlimited heals on his Starlight's Touch Q as long as he continually autos. This is because Tarek refreshes his heal charges on Q for every passive auto attack which activates any time he uses an ability. Imagine you are trying to fight a Tarek as a Maokai support. All Tark has to do is Q, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, and he will never die. Well, at least until he runs out of mana. No mana. You have no mana, bitch. I have no mana. Additionally, any time Maokai support engages on Tark, he can easily re-engage with his Dazzle E stun, making Maokai the overall weaker teamfighter. The last playstyle that I will cover in this video is my least recommended counter involving Superior Poke. This is because it requires near perfect spacing in lane in order to be effective. If you believe that you do have better positioning in lane, playing against a heavy poke style as Maokai support is extremely frustrating. Usually, tank engage supports can be tricky to play against as a squishy range support since one hook usually means death. However, as a reminder, Maokai's threat range is half the size of more typical engaged supports like Blitzcrank or Nautilus. Theoretically, this means that any poke supports should be able to whittle down Maokai's health pool to a point where he can simply never engage safely. If you are confident in your lane spacing, then playing a champion like Zyra or Vel'Koz can make it nearly impossible for Maokai to ever contest the incoming wave. These mage supports make Maokai play extremely defensively and you can easily pick up a few plates and try to snowball the game from your winning position. Combining both the AP damage and the constant slows makes it frustrating for Maokai to look for an engage opportunity. The only way Maokai can ever turn the lane around is through a flash WQ all in which can only occur every 5 minutes. Even if Maokai does take Hexflash, you can simply poke him, causing him to engage in champion combat and thus cancelling his use of this rune ability for 10 seconds. Alternatively, you can also use AD poke supports like Senna and Ash, who also naturally slow their enemy using either auto attacks or basic abilities. Both Senna and Ash have a 600 attack range, while Maokai's W range is only 550. Theoretically, Maokai can never engage on these 280 supports any time they decide to auto attack. An experienced Senna or Ash can easily auto space him to death while applying slows in lane, making it nearly impossible to catch these AD supports. As of this recording, the Maokai support nerfs in both patches 14.3 and 14.4 has finally put a small dent in his overall win rate. Combining this result with the counter playstyles we've just learned, Hopefully you guys can stop whining about Maokai and ultimately stop banning him in Champion Select. I really do just want to play my favorite tree support once again. Thank you so much for watching this Maokai support counter video. 
If you liked this content, make sure to hit that like button and consider hitting that subscribe button too. It really, really does help. If you have any additional spicy counters you use against Maokai support, please let me know in the comments below.